this is it. The uh, C20 Let Nova SR. Yeah, the reason for bringing her in is she needs a little bit of love. As you can see, there's some rust on the lower half of the car, a little bit on the doors. The sill's got a little hole in, so I've got a new sill to put on. The car's not in too bad a condition, but it just needs a little bit of love. So the first job is to jack the car up. Now, I want to make it as high as possible to make it easier to work on. I do need to put a new fuel tank on the car, and the plan is to use a Corsa and a Nova fuel tank and combine the two and make a, a better one, shall we say, because the, the Nova SPI tank it's currently got isn't very good. If you go around the corner too quick, it does cut the car out if there's not much fuel in it. So I'm hoping a multi-point injection Corsa tank will fix that because we've got a swirl pot built in. So to make it nice and high, I'm going to jack the front end up, put the tyres, or sit the wheels, shall we say, on blocks of wood. That will then allow me to jack the back end really high, put stands underneath, and then I can still get the jack under the front, hopefully, without the balance touching. That's the plan. So, front end is now jacked up on blocks of wood. Probably wouldn't recommend this at home. It's old worktop, screwed together. I think it's safe, you may not. Don't really care. So basically, plan is now, I'm gonna jack the back end up, get it as hard as I can, and put my big stands underneath, then return to the front end, jack that all the way up, put the stands under the front as well. The reason for doing that is if I just jack the back end up and don't do the front first, when I jack it up, the balance touches the floor or goes very close so you can't get a jack in. So I just find doing it this way helps and makes it a bit easier. One very big axle stand. Safe on stands. The car is now balancing on two axle stands, opposite corners and a bit of wood. Interesting. Should be okay then. All done, all on stands, nice and secure, I hope. Oh dear. Never mind, eh? Yeah, so it just needs a quick pack really. So the plan, I've got a brand new sill, I'm going to cut the sill out, I'm not sure if I'm going to cut the whole sill out yet, but I'm going to cut it back and have a look, investigate a bit further. I've also found a little hole here, which looks like it could be a bit of a problem, but I'm going to, I'm going to cut a bit out, investigate a little bit further and then make a decision what I'm going to do. Now you've probably noticed I've put cardboard up here, basically from previous experience I've found if you're welding and grinding cars it's always best to mask the windows so just to protect the paint and the windows a little bit I've just put a bit of cardboard one cutting it out I will do probably more of the car later on but as it's a concentrated area at the minute I've just done this bit Genuine Nova SR sill. It's got to be worth 100 quid on eBay, that. Hopefully you guys can see this. I've just cut the outer sill off. The arch has been repaired in the past. Not the best, but it's okay. The inner sill, it might be a little bit hard to see, but it's actually in quite good condition. So, all right, I say quite good condition. It's a little bit rotten there, but overall, it's not bad. So I'm going to cut a little bit more of this out. Drill the spot welds out grind it back and actually see what metal we've got to work with so here's the new sill as you can see i've got plenty of material so the plan is to cut more of this back clean the bottom up and then see what we can do so these were literally just i think they were 50 quid off ebay the cheap pound ones they're not the best but for this kind of car it's not a show winner it's it's a tidy-ish example of an sr what's been some people would say butchered because it's got a C20 let in. But you know, it's, it's a functional, usable classic. So I don't see the point in spending loads of money on them. Um, it's been welded quite a lot in the past. 
some of it's pretty good, some of it's pretty poor. So over the course of its life, it's going to need more welding. So yeah, this is absolutely perfect for what I want. <laughs> Just wanted to stress a point though, hopefully you can see that okay. The um, the metal on the back is in really good condition. So hopefully once I ground this back down, I should be able to find some suitable metal to weld to. I'm now going to use a centre punch to find the centres of the spot welds. And then I'm going to drill them out using a spot weld drill. It can be a little bit difficult to find a spot weld, so I always recommend using a wire wheel on the grinder. Something like that. To clean off all the original under seal first. It makes it a lot easier to see them. And they're generally slightly dinted in. That's the spot weld drill I'm using. It's got an automatic center on it. It's only a cheap one. They work quite well. I would recommend just being careful though, because if you go too far, you'll drill the way through both panels. Well, I think there's three panels here actually. So just be careful. So if done right, it should just attach like that. Sometimes needs a bit of effort. And that's the inner of the panel. So you just grind that flat and away you go. Personally, I prefer to do a sympathetic restoration, something like this. I can still enjoy the car. If I spent years restoring it, I wouldn't want to drive it, I wouldn't want to use it. Doing it this way, I can enjoy it, have some fun. No, it's fairly sturdy, it's not going to fall apart. Um, It'll pass the memory tees, it'll probably last another 10 years, and that's at the end of the day, that's perfect really, that's all I need. All right guys, so I've cleaned all this up as you can see. This section of the sill is originally made out of four layers. So you've got the outer strong piece, which is the bit you jack up on. Inner piece here, this is your inner sill. Then you've got this piece which connects your quarter to here, and then you've got your outer sill. So, I've cut this bit out because it was rotten, I've cleaned it up, as you can see, it's pretty good behind it. I'm going to reattach a piece what goes here and then it'd be a case of building this corner back up and then doing the outer sill but what I will do looking at the rest of the sill I think I'm going to cut the full sill off and do the whole thing but for now I'm just going to weld this bit up so I've just gone over this bit of the sill here with some abronet cloth it's really good stuff I found in the past if you just use a wire wheel for things like this and then paint on top of it the paint don't stick very well so to give the egg primer the best chance to stick in Rough it up first with some sandpaper. That's all you need to do. I'm going to paint, give it a couple of coats before I weld this piece on. That will also obviously protect the steel and stop it, well, help prevent it from rot. So I'm just using Upol X Primer. It's quite cheap. Does the job really well. Much better. All dry now. I need to cut a plate. Trim it to size, I'm going to clean the edges up, and then I can weld it into place. So the paint's all dry. I've made this piece which goes in half. Um, I pre-drilled it for the spot welds, painted the reverse sides, and I've also cleaned up the areas where I'm going to weld. So now all I need to do is weld it on. All welded. I've flattened it off a little bit, cleaned it up again with the abronet cloth, and now I'm going to give it some more primer. Top tip if you want something to dry quick, use a heat gun. Just be careful though. Second go. So I haven't cleaned the welds up too much purely for the fact you cannot see any of this. This is 
sandwiched between the inner and outer sill. I've cleaned the bottom edge up obviously because you need to because we're going to be welding on top of that in the end. But yeah, I'm, I'm really chuffed with it. I think it's come out pretty good. It's nice and strong and it should see a few more years of motoring. Right, as I've decided I'm going to do the full sill rather than just patch it, I need to take the front wing off, which means I need to take the bumper off and the wheel for better access. As you can see, the wing is now off. Doesn't look too bad under here. Might need a little bit of work, but not too bad. So now I'm gonna carry on with the sill. So I just wanted to show you this. I mean, that side looks pretty damn good. You can't really see anything. Feels good. Not so good that side though, is it? So I'm gonna use a center punch, mark all the centers once again, and then I'm gonna drill spot welds out. <laughs> Boom. So this area here is a little bit corroded. It's really strong still. We've caught it in time, but there is a little bit of pitting as you can see. So I'm gonna use some hammerite crust, which is meant to convert the rusty metal into a clean surface. So I'll have a go. I've not really used it before. We'll see what it's like. So you're meant to clean the metal and then apply with a brush out of a pot, like so. This is overpaintable, so I'll prime it still. I'm just trying to give it a chance, you know. I've now got to leave that for 15 minutes and see what happens. Right guys, so I've, I've chopped the sill down a little bit. I didn't want to go right into the door shuts just because it's quite a cheap panel and it don't look that easy to line up. So I've cut it down, I've clamped it up at the bottom. I need to trim it down a little bit more. Trim it down a little bit more this end. Um, but once I'm happy with the overall size, then I'll clamp it on, draw around the edge of a permanent marker, and then I'll cut the car to suit. So that is the plan now. So I've cut the car to suit the sill. It's nice and neat. Sill fits pretty well. It's not absolutely perfect, but it's a cheap pattern part. It's now time to sand back this metal and prime and paint. All sanded, looking good. Now it's ready for H primer. All primed and looking really good. And now I'm going to add some gloss black paint, purely for the fact that primer is porous. And I feel if you give it as much protection as you can, it's gonna prolong the life of the vehicle. So yes, I know I've got obviously weld bits, but most of the metal will be treated quite well. So onto the black gloss. As you can see, everything is now glossed. That should really help prevent the rust coming back. Should give it at least another, I'm hoping at least another 10 years. I've cleaned, primed and painted the underside of the sill as well. So now I need to drill the holes in the bottom of the sill where I'm gonna plug weld it. Uh, and then start clamping it on and welding it. Right, as you can see, I've loosely clamped it into place. Holes are drilled. I'm gonna cut, put a couple of tacks on here and then just readjust slightly. Cause I can't get it absolutely perfect at the minute, but I think once I've got a couple of tacks on, I'll be able to just twist it around a little bit more. That's the plan. I'm gonna tack it up.
Right guys, so I have done all the welding across the top. Some of it's not the neatest, but if you've ever tried welding to a car, it's very hard. This metal's really thin, and obviously it's covered in crap on the back, which you can't really get to. So it's not great. But anyway, it's welded, it's really strong. It's not really warped that much either, amazingly. Uh, the previous arch repair had, but this hasn't. I just need to plug weld the bottom. So I'm gonna use the spot weld drill to clean the, the paint off where, where I pre-drilled the outer sill. And then use the wire wheel just to clean up a little bit. And then we'll be doing the plug welds. Like so, looking pretty good. So I'm gonna carry on further down the sill and then we'll be done. All done, just time to grind it all back now, the joys. So that's it guys, the sill is now welded up and ground down, it looks really good. Pleased with it. I will do the filler in and the painting another day. I want to get some more welding done on the car first. Uh, please remember if you like what you see, please like, leave a comment and subscribe. Thanks guys.